a Batman is going to win this battle. I know it's sad that a Batman is going to lose, but hey, at least a Batman is going to win. Now, of course, you're probably wondering which Batman is going to win. Is it the Batman of the present, Bruce Wayne, or the Batman of the future, Terry McGinnis? Soon, we'll find that out. Let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's next round of fighters. Oh, wait, wait, Brian, wait! Now let's watch a whole bunch of ads. Oh. Ah, Batman. The man, the myth, the legend. The man who's made multiple appearances on both Cartoon Fight Club and Rewind Rumble, fighting the likes of Tuxedo Mask, Solid Snake, Iron Man, Black Panther, Teenage Goku, and of course Sans, because we have to make fictional characters in any existence fight Sans Undertale. Now, as we all know, there are multiple incarnations of Batman, and for this battle, we will be sticking to the DC Animated Universe incarnation. Now, this version does share a lot of similarities with the comic book counterpart. After the murder of his parents, Bruce Wayne dedicated his entire life to battling criminals. After several years of training, Bruce returned to Gotham, now taking the identity of the one and only Batman. Of course, he has mastered many different types of weaponry and martial arts. He's an ace pilot and driver, and he is skilled at navigating many different types of terrain with his trusty Batwing and Batmobile. Speaking of the Batmobile, he has four different kinds. His first Batmobile was unfortunately abandoned, as he did have a lot of mechanical trouble with it. His second Batmobile had many different types of gadgets, but it's easy to damage, as seen when Bane effortlessly smashed it, and his third Batmobile was pretty much the same, but with a different design. I know, big improvement. And we'll get to the fourth Batmobile later, as that one is more commonly used by Terry rather than Bruce. Batman has incredible dodging and reflexes, being able to easily dodge bullets, and he can scale to Nightwing, who also dodged gunfire at near point-blank range putting him at the very least Mach 2 reaction speeds. Batman should also be able to reach small building level durability and attack potency. He can scale to the Joker, who survived being crushed by a giant bell, and when the bell landed, it created a massive hole in the ground and Joker survived it. He can also scale to Batwoman, who was durable enough to survive explosions that could blast apart an entire room, and even survived attacks from Clayface, who can reach small building level strength and durability. Of course, when we talk about Batman, we can't forget to mention his incredibly high High intelligence. He was able to build and create the Watchtower, which is an entire space station as well as his back computer. To cap a limit on his intelligence, he's stated to be the second smartest man in the world. He is also much smarter than other intelligent foes such as Mr. Freeze, Joker, and Scarecrow. He also has leagues of experience and is one of, if not the most skilled fighter in the DC Universe in terms of skill. However, there is no such thing as a perfect man and Bruce certainly has his fair share of weaknesses. Of course, while he can take more damage and pain than most normal humans, you can still put him down with enough force, and he also refuses to kill his enemies. So that was Bruce Wayne's present, or technically past, depending how you want to look at things, but how do you want to know about Bruce Wayne's future and his, spoiler alert, son, Terry McGinnis? I bet you're wondering what happened to the great Batman. Of course, I could spoil it rather quickly and say Father Time, but it's more complicated than that. Here's the story of how Batman hung up the mask and gave up that career. After Dick Grayson left to fight crime on his own, things only got worse when Tim Drake was kidnapped by the Joker and Harley Quinn. When Batman tracked them down, he found out that Tim had been brainwashed into thinking he was the Joker's son and supposed successor. After a hard battle and trying to get Tim to shoot Bruce, Tim turned on the Joker and shot him instead. Tim was taken into therapy and Bruce had forbidden him from ever being Robin again, and he even went as far as to end his relationship with Batgirl. After suffering a heart attack while fighting a thug in the new Batman Beyond armor, Batman was forced to use a gun in order to stay alive. Horrified with his actions, he vowed to never be Batman again. It started with a handgun and it ended with a handgun. Though without the Dark Knight to keep crime at bay, the city was slowly falling apart despite its technological advancements. So several years after his retirement, a 16-year-old came into his life, and this 16-year-old went by the name of Terry McGinnis. After Terry suffered a personal loss, Bruce reluctantly agreed to let him to continue the title of Batman, and trained him as a mentor, and he took the name Batman Beyond. Now in terms of stats, Batman Beyond can actually be on par with the likes of Bruce when he was in his prime. 
this should already give Batman Beyond Mach 2 reaction speed, being able to dodge bullets, and at least small building level durability. However unique to Terry is his bad suit, which is outfitted with many different types of tools and equipment as if it was built by Tony Stark or something. Maybe it was built by someone smarter, I'll let you decide that. First off, his suit has retractable wings that can allow him to fly. He isn't as fast on foot versus while in the air, but having a mobility advantage over the original Batman is already showing improvement. Terry also is in possession of the fourth Batmobile. We talked about the other three not too long ago, but Terry's Batmobile has the ability to fly, which completely nullifies the use of the Batwing. It's also outfitted with many different types of gadgets and can be summoned automatically, and can easily reach around Mach 3 in terms of travel speed. Batman Beyond's armor is also able to resist the likes of water, heat, radiation, and electricity. The suit allows him to have enhanced strength, as he could only not lift a boulder that should reach around 70 tons, but he did it while he was driving. That's some pretty intense stuff. His suit can also camouflage him, making him invisible to the human eye. However, while Beyond may have more than a few batarangs and fancy vehicles, he still falls short to the original Batman in a few ways. For example, while he is a very smart and skilled detective in his own right, he still is not as good as planning his attacks. He can also let his guard down specifically around the left side of his body when he leaves a very wide open space for his opponents to attack him. Also, his bat suit is susceptible to viral-based corruption, which can cause it to malfunction. Say what? And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin! of the Lazarus Pit will soon wear off, but until then, the streets of Gotham belong to me. I can't let you off that easy, man. Batman works alone. Exactly my point. I thought Batman doesn't tell jokes. Okay, Pops. It's time for bed. Don't forget to take your medicine. I built that power suit, you know. I know all your tricks. This is your last chance, old man. Give it up. Gotham belongs to Batman. I am Batman! Hopefully you enjoyed that animation, and if you did, super special thanks to Team Animation Rewind's Peter Coffey. I'd also like to thank Alex Walker-Smith for playing the voice of Batman, and Jedi Bender for playing the voice of Batman Beyond, and super special thanks to Team Animation Rewind's The Mecha Gamer for putting together that script. Thanks, and enjoy the post-analysis. <laughs>
Well, there you have it, guys. I told you Batman was going to win. I know Batman is very skilled in his own right and has a lot going for him, but Batman just holds the edges he needs to take Batman out. But in all seriousness, the winner of this battle is Bruce Wayne, and this was a close fight due to Terry's larger arsenal within his suit, but of course, fighting Bruce in his physical prime is something that Terry is going to struggle with. While Terry does have the advantage in terms of having more technology within his suit and having the most powerful Batmobile of the four, Bruce is overall more skilled with his tech. This is due to Bruce being much smarter than Terry. I'm not saying that Terry is dumb because that couldn't be further from the truth, but right from the get-go, Bruce definitely owns an intelligence advantage. He's also been doing the whole Batman shtick for much longer than Terry, and if I'm being honest, this is one of those debates where skill and experience do come more into play than they would, but even if we go into the raw stats of both Batman, they are roughly even. Both can scale to having Mach 2 reaction speeds, putting them above the speed of sound. Terry might have an edge in travel speed thanks to his Batmobile and his flight capabilities. This would be useful if he needs to make a good getaway from Bruce, but Bruce can easily counter it with not only his own Batmobiles, but his own Batwing. Both Terry and Bruce can easily scale to having small building level strength and durability, though Bruce scaling to the Joker and surviving attacks from Clayface, and Terry scaling to the Prime Bruce because raw stats are completely even between the two of them, what's going to actually decide the debate is Bruce's huge skill and experience over Terry. The technological capabilities that the new Batman Beyond armor has is nothing that drastic when you compare the fact that Bruce Wayne has faced the likes of Lex Luthor and Darkseid who had some crazy technology at their disposal. And I will admit that Terry has a much wider arsenal thanks to his suit and getting through all this technology will be a lot of trouble for Bruce, but I cannot think of a better man who could figure out a way to dispose such technology than the OG Batman himself. Even without preparation, Bruce does have the stamina to keep up with Terry for long enough to disable his tech, rendering Terry helpless. It looks like the future of Batman isn't as great as it sounds, as Terry is clearly inferior to the OG Batman Bruce Wayne, but that's not to say that Terry is pathetic. He is a very skilled Batman in his own right, but there is reason as to why Bruce is his mentor in the future, making the winner of this battle, Bruce Wayne Batman. Now, if you want to see a Batman free-for-all with the likes of many different incarnations of Batman from the Adam West Batman, the cartoon Batman, Batman Beyond, Michael Keaton, DCEU Batman, and many more, all you have to do is like this video. For 5,000 likes, there will be a Batman free-for-all. Don't forget to comment down your own ideas and stay tuned as the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. Nikola Tesla is an inventor, physicist, and electrical engineer. One of his most famous statements was, if you know about the magnificence of the numbers 3, 6, and 9, you have the key to the universe.